This is gonna be devastating. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and we have reached the end of our journey with the Jinbao's knockoff Gravity Builder set. And if you missed any of those reviews, you can click the link in the description down below. So without further ado, let's get down to it and let's combine these dudes. So first we'll start off with the legs and we will work our way up. So we'll grab these two. We'll grab long haul. Now this set combines just like the original set uh, with the legs. You want to have this section brought back one click to expose that slot right there. And you just take these sections here and they will just slide back. And you will get a little, little click there. Now you straighten the leg out. And there you go. And you just connect the other leg the exact same way. Just slide that in. And right there, get a little click. And I can straighten that leg out. And there you have the lower body all done. And now that we've reached the top floor, we will continue on with the uh, main part here of the upper body. So you have tab, slot right up here, tabs, slots up here. And you just line all this up and just give it a push down. Well, that should be in place and then you come down here and you flip down this little panel and this will just plug in right there this extra little locking point there and you got that going on and we turn this around and we just take the suction here and it will just peg in to those two ports right there on the back with some further lockage right there like so you can see back there that's where I store a uh, long haul's gun so we got that going and now we'll bring in the arms. The arms just slide in from behind here. So just get that lined up, pull that forward. Get the other arm, again, just line that up and slide that forward like so. He is a big boy, he is a big, big boy. And then we bring in the chest piece. We have three pegs, one, two, three, which are going to go into these three ports, one, two, and three. You also have this little bit right here that's going to go over this little section right there on his chest. So you do have some extra locking points here for the chest piece, so it actually does hold on a lot better than it did on the original set. That holds in nice and secure like it's get all straightened out. There we go. There. And there you go. There you have the completed Jinbao Gravity Builder. And he is a very, very big boy. And I absolutely love him. I love him. He's very chunktastic. He does have a tendency to lean a bit, but we can't get him standing straight here. Come on. Come on, buddy. There we go. There you are. But yeah, he is a big, big boy, but very, very impressive to look at. Now that's a devastator right there. That's a devastator. Now let's bring him in close here so we can take a nice look at that noggin of his. You can see very, very nicely done head sculpt. Nice silver there on the face. Some silver up there. Some red as well. Red for the visor. Just looks really good. Really, really good. Again, just a big, beefy, hefty body. He definitely, he has some legit weight to him as well. He's, he ain't no joke. <laughs> this thing ain't no joke. He is a hefty, hefty boy. He ain't wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. He's hefty, hefty, hefty. Now articulation wise, this is the part that's going to tire me out, articulation wise, the head can rotate, he can look up, he can look down, the arms can rotate on a nice ratchet joint, uh, outward movement, you get two clicks, now if you pull the arm out, there is a, a double hinge in here, if you pull that out right there, you can get some more range of movement there on the shoulders, 
as far as outward movement goes, uh, you do have that bicep rotation. You do have 90 degrees of bend at the elbow at that point anyway, but if you kind of move the elbow past the treads there, you can get a bit more range of movements. As far as the hands go, just come down here. You do have wrist rotation. The fingers are fully posable. The thumb is on a ball joint at the base. You have a hinge there and a hinge there. Each finger is on a ball joint at the base with a hinge there and a hinge there. So you get nice, fully articulated fingers and you can make a very good looking fist. And I love articulated hands that can make a good looking fist. Don't know why, but I appreciate it. He does have waist rotation. You can move these panels out of the way to accommodate the leg movement. Legs can move forward. It's a very stiff ratchet. Trust me, they can move forward, forward, forward. Oh, I, I popped that off, but they move forward about that far. Backwards about that far. Ugh. Ugh. Very stiff. Outward. You can pretty much do the full splits. Yeesh. You do get thigh rotation there. What else have we got? Let me pop this back on. Jeez. <laughs> this part's a workout. This part's a workout right here. Jeez. Um, and then as far as the knee joints go, he does have a double jointed knee. This top joint is like stupid stiff. It's really hard to move, but you do have that bottom joint there so you can get 90 degrees of bend at that joint. And oops, and that might fall out if it's not locked in all the way, which apparently I did not have it locked in all the way. But yeah, that upper joint is like stupid stiff and you know, kind of hard to move. So I'm not gonna muscle that around, but that can move as well. So he does have a double jointed knee. And as far as the feet go, you do have ankle tiltage on both sides there and a little bit of up and down. Now, as far as other little features go, you can uh, open up his forearms here and you do have these little missiles which you can take out and if you want, you can plug them to the outside of the forearms here. You have that going on so you can have little missiles on either side of his forearms. So hey, that's a thing you can do if you want to do it. This section here on his shoulder can be removed. Which takes a little bit of doing. There we go. You can remove that and extend it. And if you want, you can have him, you know, holding that as a weapon, as a club of some kind, as a staff, whatever you want to do there. So that's a thing you can do also if you want to do it. And just clicks right back on. And if you don't want this sticking out like that, it does hinge right there. So you can have it sitting flush against his back, which is the way I have him displayed. But as always, you'll totally display it however you wish. But hey, it's a thing. It's a thing you can do if you want to do it. And of course, he does have his big old gun here, which we can put in his hand. It's the usual tabs in the slot in the palm method. And just line it all up, tap it in, wrap the fingers around it, and there you go. You can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. So, you got that going on. You can see you can hold it up very well. So, there you have that. And the last couple of things to talk about involve his face. That's that face. And you can under here and you can just pull off this faceplate here takes a little bit of doing but it'll come off come on come on buddy come on there we go so you can remove this mouth and replace it with the angry grr mouth and that will just peg in in its place there you go now he's angry stater so that's pretty cool. And one last feature to talk about is a added light up feature. Yes, I did add lights to this. So this section of his forehead right there is a button. And when you push it, woo, his eyes glow a nice bright red. So that's really cool. And the batteries are included, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, 
So yeah, really cool. Cool little light-up feature there. I dig it. I dig it. And now for comparison, here he is with Combiner Wars Devastator. You can see basically the height now of the Combiner Wars version. Here he is with the Toy World version, a big boy in his own rights. You can say a bit shorter than the Toy World version. Come here! And here he is with G1 Devastator! Because it's precious! Oh, look how little he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, look at him. He's just precious. So, so precious. Yay! And here he is with the original Generation Toy Gravity Builder. Just so you can see just how much they upscaled this guy. So there you have that. For some other comparisons, here he is with the uh, Zhu Jiang upscaled Combiner Wars Superion. That works out pretty well. And here he is with Power of the Primes Predaking. King. Here he is with Fans Toys Omega Supreme, in case you are curious as to how that works out. So, there you go. Oh, he's a big boy. Here he is with Power of the Primes, Leader Class Prime. You can see how that works out. Uh, here he is with the Siege. Voyager Megs, in case you want to see how that works out, that's, that, that, that's how that works out. And last but certainly not least, here he is with Masterpiece Megatron. So, there you go! So there you have the Jinbao Gravity Builder. Um, like I say in all these videos, they're knockoffs, but they're very good quality knockoffs. The Generation Toy set is still my favorite Devastator set that I own, and this upscaled version of it just makes me even happier. I absolutely love this. Um, people keep asking me about the NBK set, and uh, no, I'm not getting that. Um, from what I've heard, uh, quality-wise, that set is not good at all. They simplified the transformations, and just overall, it just doesn't look all that great. This set is just as good as the original set. They even made some little improvements here and there. So I got what I wanted with this set, so I, I don't need the MBK set. So yeah, overall, um, a great set of knockoffs here. Again, knockoffs, but a great set of knockoffs. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So there you go. Now I pick these guys up from Sir Toys. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below. For all your official Transformers needs, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. You can also check out the Knockoff Gravity Builder playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Jinbao Knockoff Upscale Degeneration Toy Gravity Builder, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Boom in your face. Ah, I see you guys came together for the big reveal. I'm honored. So now let's finally take a look at the finished. Um, this, this is not what I asked you to build me. I, 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 I don't even know what this is. What is this? I don't know, but you're paying for it. Prepare for a lifetime of debt. Wonderful. Just, just wonderful. Wow, look at this. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. Can I have it? Yeah, sure. Take it. Yay!